Hey guys, so today I thought I would um, tidy my kitchen with you guys, maybe tidy the hallway, downstairs bathroom, maybe the stairs, do a little bit of a deep clean and also show you what I picked up from B&M yesterday. So I'm going to do that first. Um, while I was making the dinner for the kids just before this, I opened the windows because it's absolutely boiling here in England and we've had a little bit of a disaster. So rather than tidy it up first, um, I thought I'd just leave it, set the camera up because literally I've just discovered this five seconds ago and tidy it up with you all here. So let me just show you what the hell has happened. Everything, and my tripod, everything that was on the window seals where the windows were open has been knocked off. So the plant got knocked over, soil everywhere, all over the floor. These tea light holders have been knocked over and smashed. So yay, fantastic. More cleaning to do. But yes, I was going to show you what I picked up. My cleaning cupboard was running bare. It's actually down here, but I took it out to show you. So I went to be in a mess today to pick up a few new things. So let me show you what I have got in there. Okay, so first we picked up some of the Vanish Oxy Action, which I use on all the baby girls' clothes um, when they get stains on. Um, obviously Snow's weaning, so she gets like strawberries beans, I don't know, every single thing she eats gets down her. Um, the baby obviously has accidents, so it comes up her back, if you know, you know. So this is great, I've actually got some clothing with soak, because so I'm going to do that in a minute and show you guys what I do. I uh, picked up some more bleach, that's just standard bleach. I uh, picked up some more cleaning wipes, these are really good for in your bathrooms. Um, and I just wiped out services, throwing it straight in the bin. And then picked up some bin buddy spray because the bins are disgusting. And um, what else did we get? Oh, some unstoppables. Oh, so nice. So we got these in the scent spring. I got everything in kind of like spring summery smells because it's getting hot now. So yes, picked up the tropical Febreze Air Mist. Everything smells so nice. Picked up some more Fabulosa, the ready mix versions got the watermelon and the one that's called electrify so picked up two more of these and um, picked up a load of the flora i got these ones in the big boxes because these smell amazing this is the tropical twist so we've got two big boxes of these and then i got one of the little um little ones in bouquet 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 not bouquet bouquet that's a bouquet book it i don't know okay okay and two tropical twists so we've got them and then i also picked up a fabulosa in black cherry and oh my god if you can smell this this smells like food like this smells like a drink i want to drink it don't drink it it's disinfectant but it smells like you can drink it so i don't know what i'm going to use because this one smells Honestly, amazing, amazing. Um, picked up some, um, I haven't used this one before. This is the Foam Freshener from Fabulosa for your carpets. And it says no hoover, no vacuum needed. So I'm gonna put this on the stairs, but I am gonna vacuum, but still, I haven't tried this one before. So we'll try that. And then I picked up some, a, a down to my last minky. But they didn't have any in b &M, so I'm guessing people are buying them. So this I already had, so that's my last one though. So I wanted to pick up some more, but like I said, they didn't have any in the b &M that I went to. So I picked up some of B&M's microfiber sponge scourers. So I mean, they're not really the same shape as a minky, but I thought they looked cute. There were some cute colours. I've got like a purple one and a pink one. Sorry about the wind. I've had to shut the windows, it's absolutely boiling though, so I need them open, but I can't. So yeah, so I picked up these, four pack, this was only two pounds, so I thought if they don't work, they don't work, but they'll be good for something, won't they? So yes, yeah, so that's everything that I picked up new, everything else I already had. So, I wanted to show you what I normally do. Um, I've transferred you to the mini tripod so I can take you on a little trip around the messy kitchen. So normally what I do in the morning is put um, Snowy in her high chair and tidy the whole kitchen while she's in a high chair and the boys are eating so i'll just put like a load in the dishwasher sort out the laundry and then i will clean the table up after the kids have eaten 
Um, I did a load in the dishwasher because it just needed doing, but everything else I've kind of left to show you how my kitchen gets. So let me switch you around so I can show you what we're dealing with. So don't judge. I've kind of, like I said, instead of tidying up as we went around, I've kind of left it so you can see this. This is the extent of a day, less than 24 hours. So here we go. So starting over here is the sink. That's my phone and my tripod, so that's where I was stuck. So the sink always has crap in it, which is so annoying. This is all loops, um, he makes smoothies and his protein thing and he never puts them away. So they're constantly out, so that's annoying. Um, in here we have the other cleaning sponges which have been used. This one's on its last leg, so I thought I might be able to use it to do the floor and then that'll get thrown away today. My last, my other minky, which is again going on its way out, so we're going to use the other one. So I've got the frying pan soaking in here. This stuff needs to go in the dishwasher. The dishwasher has just finished, so we need to put all that away. Then we need to load the sterilizer, clean all the sides. This is what cooking dinner looks like. Well, breakfast and dinner, like I said, I haven't cleaned up. Um, got these in the post. That's just some gum. Got these in the post yesterday. So these all need to find a nice home. I'm not sure where they're going to fit, but they need putting away. This dining area, the fridge needs a good clean. This dining area needs cleaning. I did my nails the other day, so my nail lamp and everything's still out, which is not very good, is it? Not very acceptable. So that needs putting away. The dining table needs clearing. Um, they need to go in the other room. That's my box. That needs going away. Just needs to tidy that. So, are you ready for the absolute disgrace? This is what feeding a one year old looks like guys. We've got a nice ice pot mounted under the floor. We've got some Cheerios. We've got some sweet corn. We've got a baby bell cheese. Oh, there's a pom bell, there's a skittle. That's not from Snow. That's one from one of the other bigger boys. So yes, so I'm gonna show you what I do to tackle all of this. Like I said, it's better to do it as you go along, but I thought I would leave it to show you guys exactly what I do. Um, this high chair needs cleaning. This high chair, I'll say, we got this on Snow's first birthday as literally just a prop um, for her cake smash. So we um, we got a tulle skirt, like a pink one, and I hot glued it on. Um, and then we had it like in front of a backdrop. If you're not seeing the pictures, they're on Instagram. And I purely got it for that because I didn't want to ruin another high chair. And it was £7 from Ikea. And I managed to get the tulle off completely without leaving any mark and we just use it ever since because there's no material there's no nothing you literally it's so easy to clean i've never known anything like it with all my other kids i've had like big high chairs with material same as what we would have got snow um but this takes literally about 30 seconds to clean so i'm debating whether just to keep it or not at the minute it's just i haven't even thought about getting another one like I just feel like it's going to be so much more work to clean one but yeah so that's the overview of the dining area um I think we need to do the hallway so the hallway this those shoes need sorting out because there's too many for the lid to coat so we need to take some of them upstairs Luke's don't even fit in that drawer so we need to tidy all that hoover sweep all this floor Luke's work stuff on the floor which needs doing then the downstairs bathroom could do with the clean so yeah, I'm just thinking here, just do a little clean of all the skirting boards, they're not too bad actually, I try and keep on top of the skirting boards, but you know, keep on top of it. So I've got some bleach down there at the minute actually, so I cheated a little bit, who rolled on there. Take out this trash, I'm going to pull all the bins out because there's so much crap all in between the bins. So yes, need to get the laundry out fold the laundry, put some new laundry in. Like I said, I need to soak the stuff. This is all the stuff I got out to show you. Oh, I've got some bubble ones as well. I'll be in a bargain, 2 99 for six. Um, I want to sort her all on top of the microwave as well. So, yeah. So that is what we are working with, guys. So I thought um, if I kind of like put you on a time lapse, I'll come and talk to you occasionally. Might do a little bit of a voiceover. Um, but yeah, try and get motivated with me, get yourself a nice drink, watch me do some hardcore cleaning. Um, I haven't decided whether I'm going to be like talking or voiceover or this and that, but you will know by the time you're watching this. So yeah, let's get to it. Okay, first things first, I'm going to put in some of these baby clothes, which have got some stains on and that to soak. So I'm going to be using the Finish Oxy Action. 
to this so what i start with is just a bowl i normally soak it in the sink but because i'm going to be doing a lot of cleaning um obviously i don't want to be having the sink out of action so i'm going to use this bowl i could do with a bit of a bigger one but i've only got three items so it's fine for that but stuff like we have a white sleepy head cover and stuff like that i will fill the sink with hot water add the oxy action and let it soak in there um but yeah so i'm going to be using the bowl just for the sake of today so this says on the back all the different measurements for how much water and how stained it is but i kind of just wing it and then i never had any problems so i'll probably add like an entire scoop um, and then I will add the items that have little stains on or things that I want to keep really white. This one has a little stain on the back. This isn't too bad, but it's got like a little bit of a poop stain. So I'll soak that in there and I'll just mix it in like this to try and get all the granules all over it. This top, the sleeves are very very discolored so i thought i'd try and bring that back to life so again just putting it in and working it in i think i need to add some more water and then we just have a muslin square which is just seen better days and got some spots on it so i thought while i'm soaking stuff normally stuff like this i don't really care about because we have so many unless it's like a special one you know like one with the patterns on because this is just a plain white one normally i'm not too bothered but seeing as i was soaking some stuff anyway i thought i'd throw it in also i will just say that if you've got any cuts on your fingers i've got a little grazed knuckle this stuff burns so i should have put my gloves on really but too late now So yes, now it's all fully submerged, I'm just going to leave that to the side while we do everything else. So the very next thing I always do, first and foremost before doing any cleaning, is I fill up the small side of the sink with really, really hot water and some kind of disinfectant, either the Deflora or Fabulosa, depending on what I've got at the time or what smell I fancy. And I really don't know whether to do with the tropical one or the cherry one. I originally went into being I'm looking for the tropical one because it's summer, found this one and now this smell honestly it's insane so i think i'm gonna go with this one to see if it fills the house as well as this one would but we will see i'm not really using the fabulosa ones too much other than the really diluted ones for the sides but yeah i think i'm gonna go with this one so yeah i would normally fill the sink with boiling water but because i need to sterilize some bottles for azzy and then obviously put some cold boiled water in her bottle i don't want to boil it just yet because obviously then it's going to be too hot for her and i have to let it cool so I've used my hot tap on the very, very hot setting. But yeah, if you can use the boiling water because then the steam as it rises obviously makes it smell really, really nice. This though is like too hot to touch. So it does the job fine. Um, I'm going to leave that to cool just letting everything smell. Then I'll use it to wipe down all the sink and everything once I've done the dishwasher. And then I'll also use this water um, because of it's clean to mop the floor after I've cleaned all of that mess. Another thing that I use the Deflora or Fabulosa for is to fill my little spray thing and this is what I use to spray and wipe down all the sides with so once this smell's gone I will be refilling it so that's another good way to be able to use it and have your sides smelling really nice. Now the next thing we're going to do before we get into the actual proper cleaning is unload the dishwasher and put everything away then reload it so that will empty all the sides make the sides all nice and clear so that we can give them a good clean so that's what we're going to do now.
grass and the soil and then just started to clean that little side of the kitchen on top of the microwave so now i'm going to spray down the side so the thing that i spray the side with is i'll give it a spray over with the pink stuff get off all the grease get off all the grime then i'll go over it with one of the um what they call the disinfectant and then give it a nice wipe over with that that's what we're going to do over there.
again. What I normally do first is I'm going to sweep it, pick up all the bits that I can with the sweeping brush, then all the stubborn bits I'm going to give a spray, leave that to soak while I clear the table, move the chairs out of the way, give all the chairs clean. So that is what you're going to see me doing next.
Okay, my beautiful people, the battery is dying, so we're not going to be able to do any of the other rooms. Um, but to be fair, I am absolutely boiling hot, and I can't open those windows because I'm terrified that something else is going to break. So I'm going to leave the video there. I'm going to give you a quick overview of what we have achieved. If you like me and you want to see more of me, follow me over on Instagram. I'll post a lot more over there. I will leave the link down below. As always, hit the thumbs up button, hit subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Peace. you guys um because obviously you saw me soaking the clothes earlier i am shoving them into the washing machine now with a few other stuff but i just don't want to leave you like high and dry wondering if the clothes were soaking forevermore no they're not they're getting washed right now while i fold this mama's pile of laundry which is now ruining my perfectly clean side <sighs> shame that my battery died thought i'd come back on here and tell you this you stayed till the end now you've seen the clean, get ruined, you're very welcome. Peace guys, see you next time.